The man I'm going to introduce you to has no need for any introduction. However, if you are a little shy of some offensive language, then you may want to deafen the first 30 seconds of this video. You'll see what I mean right now. Yo, 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 get in, man. Now, this clip is of a stream sniper hacker who he had played previously in the lobby and is now on his team. Made a bitch. <laughs> Laid a bitch. Nice aimbot, pussy. Nice aimbot. My loot now, you fucking hoes. My fucking loot now. You aimbotting fucking pussies. Die. Die, motherfuckers. Okay, well, I didn't, I felt it was no more appropriate way to introduce the man of today's Five Rules show. It is Shiv FPS, the warlord as they call him, the Bangalore main, the one who has really uh, taken the world by storm, not only from streaming, he's got over a million, ladies and gentlemen, one million followers on Twitch. Uh, he has got over... 100,000, 180,000 followers on Twitter. He's got over 99.8 thousand followers on Instagram. Shiv FPS is one of the most iconic players in the European Apex Legends scene. And it's a lot because of moments like that. He has been known for controversy with the infamous cheater, Tufi, who has essentially gotten him banned for seven days, where Shiv became kind of the uh, person to go against uh, the banning and cheating and hacking problem that was so prevalent in uh, the earlier parts of Apex Legends this year, causing TSM Imperial Howl, which you saw, and you guys hopefully have seen that video. That's reached 100,000 views, by the way. Go check it out if you haven't seen it. And, of course, Tufi and the rest of the pro scene to react. Shiv really put the, put the onus on himself, carried the weight on his shoulders, got banned, really was the loudest, most vocal person saying, I'm not going to deal with cheaters like that. And he's made quite a strong impression on most of the community with how he's dealt with these cheaters with no nonsense. I will do anything to get you. You are not going to mess with me. I'm going to fight you anytime you come for me. And you, you'll find a lot of videos like that on Shiv's channel and this but Shiv is also an incredible player and one of the things that makes him so interesting is he's taken Bangalore everywhere he's gone this character who is not really considered high level has become high level because of how Shiv is so much so that I want to show you this moment which is in the ALGS EU championship watch this Give me one! Give me dead! One guy, one guy, left shield up, shield up, shield up! One dead! Let's fucking go! I need to go, I need to go, I need to go! Let's fucking go! Now, this actually clip, I'm going to let you guys play, it actually continues on in the backside. And what ends up happening, why that was so important, is that Shiv actually clutched up that fight for the rest of his team. And they were able to, off of basically putting together uh, this squad for the ALGS Championships, go with that play to interrupt potentially the tournament ending here. It was on match point. He tried to delay it so they would have a chance to win. But eventually ended up getting third place in the tournament with that clutch. So not only has he proven Bangalore can work in a solo queue environment, he's actually taken him and his team to third place in the entire European region as far as Apex Legends competitive with Bangalore as a staple, the only team to do it. So he's got credibility across streaming and across gaming. We're going to break down five things that make him so special by watching uh, some of his videos. It's a fantastic moment. I'm really excited for this video with you guys. Uh, and I've got them set up right here. I've got one I think that's really, really cool uh, about his ranked gameplay because you guys said you wanted to get into it. And the one thing I'll say to start is that we're going to get into a couple of legend specific tips on this one. Left though. I'm moving um, a little bit to So left. let's go ahead and start watching. One, one of the big things here. you'll notice, like I said, him over here. is one over that here. you will see a Bangalore being played with Shiv. One guy's on the res beacon. Uh, does this guy? Come back a bit. Uh, okay, wait. Uh, but there's something, there's uh, something more important than those first clips uh, told us. It's that Shiv is clutch. Shiv is clutch. And I think what you guys and most people I see 
unwilling to do is to be clutch in their own way, to be willing to develop the ability to take the last shot and have the game win or die uh, on your own play. And a lot of us wait to see when the opening is, but there are certain players who are commanding when that ultimate is. You have to think of a warlord facing against another army. What do you have to do when you see that there might be an opportunity to break the fight in your favor? And you've got lives on the line. Shiv takes the in-game leading role, and I think this is another big aspect of why he is clutch. He is going to be shot calling throughout this entire video, and so we have to put this shot calling. Oh my god, that just looks horrible, doesn't it? We're, we're, we're not even going to use that like that, are we? No, we're not. We're not going to go there, guys. We're going to write this. <laughs> we're going to write. You know what? Screw that. Screw screw that. We're not, we're not going there. We've got clutch, and we've got shot calling coming up here, and you guys are going to see how that how that comes into play in this in this clip coming up. Can we third party this? Take their position? Like, full wipe this? Can we full wipe this and then uh, fight the third party or something? Maybe? I don't know. They're still fighting. They just finished, maybe. We, mm. we win this and hold the ground. By the way, guys. Been a little under the ground. weather. We have, we have uh, flash. We have knocked. Above, above, above. We, uh, Octane. Great game kill Octane there. above. He dropped on me. Dropped on me. Dropped on me. You need to kill that. I'm popping Phoenix. Hold, hold the ground here. Hold the ground. You just hold position. Look for teams if they're pushing. But don't die. Don't get knocked here. I'm still healing. Do you see anyone? Are they pushing? One there. One there. That's that path. Oh, uh, wait. Keep watching. This is imp this is important. Yeah, we try to kill this charge rifle guy. Wait. Wait. Almost cracked. Wraith cracked. Wraith flash. Like fourth flash. The Wraith. Bangalore old uh, I think we try to push this out. No. Revenant. Rev cracked. Rev one. Rev one. Knocked. Great oh Wraith is God. queuing over here. Try to kill him or something. Maybe. I oh, don't know. He, he ran up here. I'm gonna thirst the Rev. Thirst the Rev. Yeah, yeah. Octane, look at Octane. Octane knocked. Mm -hmm. Wraith, I'm battling everything forward. Might have been a bit early. This, this team, kill the team on tower. Kill the tower team. Kill tower team, kill tower team. Kill all these people in front of us. The team uh, left as well. These guys are fighting, let them fight, let them fight. Kill this Gibby team in bubble. I was throwing right, I don't know, I think there's a team there. Kill this team. Wait for bubble. Careful, they give me ulted. I'm going back, going back. Come back, come back, come back. Yeah, queue back, queue back. Just play on us, play on us. We, we need to kill the left team. We need to kill the left team, guys. Wait, so there's a couple things to mention about what you guys just witnessed. First of all, one of the things I want to, I want to talk to you about is that this is ranked. So a lot of you wanted information on how to be better in rank specifically. And I, we talked last time about something that is around solo queue play. One of those things that doesn't scale as well um, in terms of certain roles that you're in and certain things you wanna do in ranked is solo queue play when you want to take on multiple players at a time and you know you're not going to have teammates. It is much more important for you to have a shotgun, something that you can basically win a 1v1 very quickly after bursting and then finishing off an opponent so you can now start taking your second fight. Shiv here is working with a G7 Scout and a Prowler, and the G7 is one of those weapons that, unlike the charge rifle, you, you'll see it actually in this clip where he's trying to find the Revenant. It's a very easy uh, weapon to immediately go from your main auto assault or assault rifle Rev weapon Rev into a hip fire. One. Uh, or quick ADS weapon to find a finish. It's also a decent weapon. You'll see it here. He was trying to fight this Octane who pushed him. Uh, the hip fire for above, the G7 above, above, scout uh, is quite good. Kill so this is above. a weapon that is probably one of the better poking Drop weapons. Me, jumped on me, jumped but on you'll me. see here, he tries left. to switch out. This I'm is how me. you play with this weapon in high level rank. That's one thing that Shiv does really well. The other thing that you're going to notice here is the way he's playing with Bangalore and his smoke. So what he's doing is, Bangalore, one of the impacts that they had is that not just the offensive pressure, the double time pass of 30%. What Shiv noticed is that when you play defensively, I'm battling everything forward. With Five the Bangalore smoke, you can isolate opponents and isolate a fights. Uh, isolate fights. So, for instance, what you're going to notice is that Shiv, in just a second, is going to realize there's a team that might be approaching him to the right side. 
these guys are fighting. Let them fight. Let them fight. What what he's going to do is smoke off that area. So that area is essentially not smoke on him. It's not smoke on where he's going. This is smoke to obscure vision because what he's basically doing and knows in these high-level games, uh, and this is one of the big things that he does so well, is he makes his own cover with his smoke bomb. And this is something that if you want to be a Bangalore or if you want to start to know uh, some of these legend tips or really dis uh, maybe it me get more granular about how to improve as a legend uh, that you're playing, this is one of those things that I think if you're a Bangalore main, you are learning from Shiv nonstop. In fact, it goes even one more level where there are players who are sniping, who are in that nook, who are in that corner, that perfect God spot, you might say, and he'll smoke over them just because the smoke is so dense that they'll actually have to move out of their God spot because they can't go anywhere, otherwise they'll give it up, or just stop firing for a matter of 30 seconds. It's an incredible level of pressure relieved when you're able to put that smoke down, and he does it very, very well. Careful. We come notice back, the in-game leadership here. We notice here come the, back, the, back, the bomb back. starts to get hit. Yeah, come um, back, come back. And what he's Just saying is, hey, us. this is where we need to go. This is the smoke. We've set yeah, up we a line of defense. Kill left team, guys. And he's prioritizing the rest of his team. Wait, they got one knock. Kill the left team. They got, uh, they got uh, knocked down here. Push the left team. Clear communication. Willing to make the wrong call. That octane he realized on the right side was actually... Guy. Coming through the smoke, had a hard time us, pushing them all the us. way through the smoke. I could be wrong though. Part of the reason is in the tunnel under us. They're gonna die soon. That you I have to fully imagine. commit. Yeah, they're, they're no, no, they're, they're dead, right? I mean, I'm getting heat shield, but I, I think they're out of zone now. So yeah. they should be out of zone now. They end up dying here. Uh, basically, Shiv wins yeah. this game. Uh, but one of the things that, again, to, to reiterate these first three things: being clutch, being willing to be clutch, understand that you can put it all on your shoulders. You'll win or succeed you'll succeed or you'll lose and that's what shiv is willing to do he's he's willing to stand up with his back straight and go i'm gonna go at it i'm gonna go at this with 100 percent. you better meet me otherwise the warlord's coming for you second he's willing to in-game lead he's developing a skill that i think you guys can do which is commentating your own gameplay i've got i've got two bats shooting now i've knocked bangalore knocked bangalore twice she's got back up lifeline with the rest pushing lifeline lifeline down to 50 uh you know you start doing these things and you start understanding that this information sounds weird coming out of your mouth but the more you do it the more natural you'll be at it and the more information you'll be able to give to your teammates but you'll start hearing what's happening in yourself and you'll say oh lifelines at 50 let's push lifeline instead of just shooting 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 you kind of almost make it real like a coach saying hey the right side of the field is open right side of the field is open what do you do the player turns they pass the ball to the right side of the field typically lifeline at 50 uh that team's almost down you might start pushing that team thirdly a very specific uh bangalore thing he's incredible with defensive smoke bombs creating up space setting up problems i want you to watch the rest of this video with that in mind because he's he's a master class at it also <laughs> he's got two three k's man two three k's in these fucking lobbies man <laughs> these are predator lobbies by the way too fucking easy uh we have some other really cool little tips coming up in this one as well but i want to enjoy watching this with you guys line, and pointing this out but there's two other tips i haven't talked about almost ever on my channel uh that are high level tips that i think you guys are going to enjoy that 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 shiv helped show us <laughs> first of all my face man Stinky caustic shit. <laughs> Not much of a, on zip. a big piece of news there, but okay, one of the things I'm you will see wingman roll. is right here the defensive Do side of this. Okay. See right there, Shiv got started to get sh shot. Um, this is what we call team firing. Essentially, there's a team who is seeing Shiv right now. He doesn't know it, he's fighting another team. This team is team firing him. And you'll notice that he almost dies instantly without any awareness. This is what it would feel like if a, if a cheater, essentially, uh, and Shiv is very aware of that, if a cheater essentially started shooting you because you would say, wait a second, oh my god, the, uh, that, 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 that's too much damage in a row. So one thing is that uh, it's a high-level strategy, but it, the idea of team firing is shooting as a team together uh, before that enemy player can react to you. So I want you to see it one more time. Team firing, uh, shoot an enemy together with one or both of your teammates to down them quickly before they can react that's that's essentially it this is what team firing is so let's let's check this out because he then shows us Finder, on zip look at his health the path. Okay. sorry i went over that look at look at look at the way his health goes. The path. 
Okay, I'm basically dead. Now, what he does really well that you guys need to look at is holsters, okay. the, holsters the weapon immediately, throws the ult. See, that maximum movement instantly. Those little half seconds are what actually saves his life here. He throws okay, the ult, okay. so he creates pressure defensively, so that the enemy, if they want to push him, have to push through his Bangalore ult, which is delayed time. It goes down, then one, two, three, four, five, and then essentially, then they would be taking damage. So they're now... They can't close the gap. And that's what he's created. He said, okay, you bursted me, but you can't close the gap. Then I smoke on myself and quickly use my double time passive to get around the rock. And he, bad, guys. Anyway, um, and he smokes Just, that uh, side so that he can't up. get exposed uh, got, from anybody know, who might be showing up. Monk, uh, I one. And that oh, ult ends up forward, forward knocking on this, that player, which is I a huge one bang aspect. Out. And one of the uh, things that Bangalore is really doing well, but also that I think Shiv... Keep uh, does forward. extremely well himself. You know, it's like life, you know? You gotta keep moving forward no matter what. Careful, I think we go back now. I think we go back, guys. I think we go back. Let, let's go back, guys. Let's go back. Let's go back. Uh, and yeah, on the, on the... There really is something about Bangalore go, go that back. I think go back. Uh, it's just so rage. exciting that Shiv has been back. able to this do. This other team will fucking kill us. Again. You see the fuse? You see the fuse? So here, here's an example Three, of offensive two, team firing. One, go! Unfortunately, they didn't make it happen. But as you can see, this is how you do it. You line it up, you try to time it. Unfortunately, that fuse jumped right at the wrong time, but you see he went from a red shield, and the second time Shiv shot him after he missed a bunch of his shots, he was flesh already. So they had done almost 225 damage to him in that period of time. Unfortunately, he got away with probably 20, 30 health. Three, two, one, go! Fuck! Very good reactions by what the What was that over here? Right over here. Right over here, guys. Shoot the right. Two over it's, there. I'm bang ulting it. It's I, something I that is small, under the but I think uh, you guys can guys. use a lot oh, more team on me. Team, team on me. Team on me. Fight this team. Kill the team on me. Kill the team on me. Kill the team on me. I need help, guys. I need help. The team on me. <laughs> right try to me. Nice. Win the fight. Win the fight. Uh, the positive energy. How's a team there? How do I not hear them, The man? communication constantly. Yo, the stress. Yo, do you have mobile do you have a mobile res? Not salty to his teammates. I think that's another aspect that Shiv is typically pretty good the at if sound, he's playing ranked. Give me some fucking sound, game. He takes it out on the game. Fucking he takes it out game, on other players, man. but he doesn't take it out Give on his team. Give me some audio. Try that, to fucking hear people. I think it's very important. Fucking dog shit game, man. <laughs> you see what I mean? Fucking takes it out on the game. right in front of my face. I don't even hear them. Right next to me. Right behind me. I think Shiv's 23 as well. Okay. I mean, incredible career so far. Over here. And so talented in so many different one, ways. One guy in the rock. Coming uh, up, though, this is one of my careful, they have rifle. more important points. Uh, guy in the open. That I think knocked if you him, guys knocked use, him, knocked him, yeah. that I see Fuse do, play to push uh, this, excuse play me, to push this. Shiv do all the play time, to push this. Right there, right crack. you will improve your uh, game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you catch crack. it right there? Fuse almost, uh, it's push. wonderful. Push, guys, push. Nice. Fucking play. Just play on this rock. So let's watch. I, I want to. I want to see this again. So he pushes right here, and he's got the ADS on. For for those who don't know, uh, flatline ADS has a uh, a flatline basically movement speed penalty. Right in Apex Legends uh, is probably around fifty percent. When you're when you're using the flatline, essentially you are probably you have a fifty percent movement speed penalty. Um, and so what that ends up meaning is that every time that you move left and right with your aim down sights, you're moving half as fast as normal. And most weapons have this. Wingman, shotguns, they don't. We've talked about this before. But it goes into the point of turn turning offense to defense. Shiv is great, not only with Bangalore turning offense to defense, but being able to bring that out in even his weapon and his, his gunfight style, which I see a lot of players commit uh, without being reactionary enough. And, and he does it even one better. He turns offense into counter offense. Uh, and he turns defense into that counter offense as well. Watch this. So he gets the shot, immediately starts getting shot. Look at Shiv's reactions. Immediately goes out of ADS, right? Not only is it for vision, but it's for movement. Because when you start getting shot, you need to let go of your right trigger, let go of your aim down sights so that you can move faster, right? Get rid of moving half as slow. But when you're still doing that, you can still fire. So what does he do? I mean, it's like a laser. Instantly goes from feeling 140 to that person. To getting shot, deals 94 damage ADS while avoiding most of that damage. He basically did as much damage as that person who was staring at him. Uh, and then gets around cover, jumps up, and is already ready to shoot again. 
I mean, this is an incredible level of offense, defense, back to back to counter offense. And these are those things that I think people who uh, we watched Courage play a little bit the other day, I thought that was a little slower in terms of being just so committed in terms of aiming down sights, trying to win those specific gunfights. If you can have this level of flexibility in your game, going from knowing when to ADS, knowing when not to ADS, using cover, but then getting right back to getting into the nice. fight. You could turn your offense or your defense back into offense to counter offend uh, your opponent. And this is really, I think, what Shiv is so masterful at. And you can see in Bangalore why the style is so well, because you have a character who is getting hit and gets a 30% movement speed bonus when they're getting shot at. Then can throw smokes on someone to get... Fuck it, them take to have to move. Take the fucking portal. Fuck it, go, go, But they go. can take go the throw smokes on where they're going okay. so that they can be defensive. Then come back around, throw their ultimate. It's exactly Shiv's play style, and that's why I think it suits him so well. He's a master at going from one thing uh, to the nine next. Turn up ten. Nine and turn up ten. I see a lot of players play get really play stuck play. in exactly how they want to approach a fight without being willing to have not the macro sense of gameplay changes, which Shiv is really, really good at, us, but the micro the changes, fine, the though. little they moments where you go us. from offense to defense back into I'm an offensive forward. stance a bit. Uh, uh, that helps here, you bro. stay very hard to track Wait, can, for uh, the opponent. Wait, this guy hit by that. Or not. She, he cute. Predator lobby as well. This is solo queue. These are two I'm different so players confused. than he had before. I'm so confused. What just happened? Okay, kill the last team. Nice. We're so fucking good at this game. We're so fucking good at this game, man. So fucking good, man. So fucking good. So fucking good, huh? Who the fuck does it better, huh? No one fucking does it better. Get the fuck out of my face, man. So fucking good. Get and the fuck that out of my face, man. is... The war right. lord, ladies and gentlemen. Listen, I was a little under the weather today, but again, I think if you guys can take some of these tips that we went on, you will be a much better player. And really, this tip as well, I want you to notice the reason I, I, I spent a lot of time on this one is because not only was it just excellent fighting, but I think what's so incredible about this is that even as this player or this player specifically who just dealt 100 damage to Shiv while he wasn't looking, um, literally 100 damage while he wasn't looking, um, Shiv now looks like he's going into a defensive stance. So that player probably thinks, all right, well, I've done, I've bursted him, right? So now I'll have a second of respite. I've, I've t done damage to him, so I don't have to worry about it. Did 100 damage, I'll reload. Him. But no, Shiv is right back there. He's changed the pace and he's kept the pace on his end. And exactly the one getting damaged now. So as a player... On the other side of things, think of how confusing or hard to track that would be. You burst someone like crazy. They go back into a corner. You're like, all right, I've dealt with them. They come back out, and they start firing at you way faster than you were ready for. Again, Shiv, so so freaking good. The master of his pace and the master of Bangalore. Hopefully, you guys are inspired by him. Let me know who you want me to take a look at in these next videos. And as always, my friends, leave a like on it. Never give up, never stop gaming, and I'll see you all next time.